Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Tracer has come to you live, live from Asia, guys. It's a great, great time to be alive. Update, I'm back in Vietnam right now and had about uh, seven days in Japan. So I'm back now. It's a great time and we're going to be talking about a couple of things. Looks like uh, Elon Musk has told everybody to FO out there. So we're going to be revealing what that's all about and huge, huge news. Looks like there has been a governmental approval for the Dogecoin mission to the moon. So guys, it looks like it's really going to happen. So this is the first time we've seen this government agency absolutely approve the mission. And as you know, whenever you send a rocket or a satellite into orbit, you need to get different approvals from different agencies like NASA, uh, you know, the Federal Telecommunications Agency and all that. So we've just had a milestone approval for Dogecoin. So wow, it's been approved. Wow, it's been approved. I'll say it again, guys. Uh, so we're going to be talking about that and also some huge, huge, huge signals for a Bitcoin is happening as well. We're seeing that the amount of Bitcoin on exchanges is the lowest that's ever been in history. Also some good ETF news as well. So we're going to be talking about all of that. So guys, stay tuned, buckle up. Don't forget to smash the likes like crazy, guys. Smash the freaking likes. And remember, it's a great time to be alive. None of this is financial advice, guys. I would just want you to tell you that and uh, also keep in mind that the uh, the interview with Elon Musk he does say the f-bomb a couple times so if your kids are around if your kids are around close their ears I'm gonna try to beep it out out there guys so let's get into it let's absolutely get into the content without any further delay so it's good to be back home I can go back and watch all my other videos and uh, become a member I would appreciate that get access to uh, a private whatsapp group out there it looks like the US markets are doing okay uh, so far so good we're seeing that the uh, the US uh, pre-markets are also looking pretty pretty good guys uh, Elon Musk is fighting back uh, Elon Musk um, to advertise who are trying to blackmail him he basically said go beep yourself uh, in recent uh, Musk has been uh, promoted as sometimes verbally endorsed by the White House and called uh, you know anti-Semitic and racist hate on X, formerly Twitter and social media platform. We all know that that was bupkas. It was just somebody did kind of a, uh, a smut piece on Elon Musk. And basically at the 2023 Deal Book Summit in New York on Wednesday, Musk scoffed at advertiser boycotts and he basically said this. So let's let's listen to what Elon Musk has to say uh, out there. I'm gonna turn off the volume, but I'm gonna beep out the F-bombs, okay? I'm gonna beep out the F-bombs. So this is what Elon Musk said. I'm not making this up. You don't want them to advertise? No. No. What do you mean? If, if somebody's going to try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go fuck yourself. Beep. Yeah, he said it. He said the F bomb. Go beep, fuck beep, yourself. Beep, 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 beep. Is that clear? Okay. I, I hope it is. So yeah, basically, you know, Elon Musk is saying, look, if you're going to blackmail me with money, uh, don't waste your time. And he's kind of saying, look, I got lots of money and I don't care. So once again, I like Elon Musk because, you know, he just does what he wants to do. He does his thing. And we've got we to gotta respect that. you got to respect that. Some people think he's crazy. Some people not. But I respect him. I respect him. He just does what he wants. Uh, so far, we're seeing that here in the Asian, Asian markets. It's Thursday. I don't even know what date it is. Uh, it's funny, you know, when I was in uh, when I was in um, uh, Japan, it was like nine freaking degrees out there, and you know, one, some days got low as eight degrees Celsius. Now I'm back here. Uh, it is now twenty five degrees. Wow, but I'm still feeling cold. I think I got the chill, the chilly willies in my bones. Uh, so we're seeing that most of crypto markets are down right now. Nothing too much to worry about. It's, consolid it's consolidation. Bloomberg analyst reaffirms 90% chance of ETF approval in January. So I'm, I'm pretty pretty confident that we're going to get that. And this is going to be one of the biggest things that's going to, since, since like, like Coca-Cola, uh, when the ETFs uh, come, we're going to be seeing that the price of Bitcoin will go up. And the reason I say that is if you look at Bitcoin, the amount of Bitcoin that's being produced is, going to be, is, is scarce. It's, it, it's, it's finite. Uh, so when we have a finite supply and we have a lot of demand, the price is going to rocket. So this is positive news. It's going to happen. And, you know, even Wall Street thinks it's going to happen out there. So and look, Bitcoin supply and exchange hits lowest in five years. Here's why. Most people are moving their Bitcoin to private custody, hardware wallets or software wallets. And that is amazing. And when the ETFs come out, what do you think? You think the $38,000 price is still going to be up? No. 
50, 60, 70, 100,000 dollars. Guys, it's in the cards. Uh, DCA, uh, you know, pick up the dips if you can. Uh, like I said, you know, sentiment is also saying the same thing. Bitcoin supply and exchange has continued moving itself into custody as exchange reputation continues to diminish like right? a lot of exchanges are you know not looking good cz's got arrested uh you know meanwhile the 10 largest tether exchange wallets hold 15.23 billion pushing exchange buying power to its highest level in 17 years so what people are doing is they're moving a lot of tether onto exchanges because they are going to buy bitcoin and as soon as the spot etfs get announced it's going to be insanity it's absolutely going to be insanity out there uh, guys, so it's it's insanity. It's an absolutely insanity. I'm telling you, uh, you know, don't worry. Dogecoin, Bitcoin will go higher. Absolutely, it's going to happen, guys. Uh, you know, so it's crazy, guys. Take a look at this. This is actually Shibuya. Look at this. This, this is this is this is Tokyo, downtown Tokyo. It's it's like it's metal. It's metal out there. Look at this, downtown Tokyo. This is a scramble walk out there. People, it, it's metal. Uh, but once again. It's a great time to be alive. I was with my kid I mean, we were in Tokyo. So, guys, it's amazing. Uh, but, you know, overall, I'm not too concerned about it. Things are looking pretty good. Exchange balances are low. ETFs come out. It's going to skyrocket. Absolutely skyrocket. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Also, we're seeing that the U.S. economy is coming back. We're seeing that GDP came back positive. So that is, that is pretty good. We're seeing lots of signs of, uh, you know, the economy bouncing back. That's always going to be good for Bitcoin. It's all, all also going to be good for broader markets. We're seeing greed is, at, greed is at 72. That's looking pretty good. Overall, overall, crypto markets are huge. Guys, don't forget, we still got the Dogecoin news, guys. Stay tuned. Uh, we're seeing that uh, Bitcoin is still slightly in the green. Ethereum is down 1%, uh, down 2% for the week. XRP is down. Uh, Solana is still going gangbusters out there. Good news for our Solana holders. Cardano is down. Doji Wozier is up right now at 0.19%. And it's up 6.53%. Uh, you know, if you compare that to Bitcoin, Dogecoin is still looking pretty good. So not too shabby. Not too shabby out there. Uh, also, too, every time we see Bitcoin break above the 70 RSI, a major move usually falls. Is this time going to be different? No, definitely not. And we can see here that every time it broke above the 70, uh, 70 RSI, we got uh, 367, 3,647 move. Excuse me, I'm blind. 70%, 405. Guys, is this going to be different? And, you know, this plots is at $115,000, guys. $115,000 per Bitcoin. That would be awesome, guys. Lambos, Lambos, Lambos. Uh, good news coming out. Less than 50 days, the SEC has to make a final decision on the first Bitcoin, Bitcoin, <laughs> Bitcoin. Sometimes I call it Bitcoin, but Bitcoin ETF. Uh, after a court ruled that SEC needs a stronger case to deny Grayscale spot ETF, I don't think they can kick the can down the road much longer. And remember, when the spot ETFs approve, it's not going to be like one at a time. It's going to be bang, all of them, big bang, pow, pow. So it's going to be, it's good, it's good. Uh, guys, breaking story, as I said, it's been confirmed, breaking story, the National Telecommunications and Information Administration uh, NTIA has approved the Doge One satellite for December 23rd, 2023. Okay, so that satellite is going going to the moon. And remember, that's going to also carry a physical Dogecoin to the moon, guys. So that is pretty good news. Also, as I, here's some more details. Dogecoin, Doge One mission cleared by NTIA. Very good. So looks like uh, a following mission, uh, Astro Astrobotics. Uh, Paragon Mission 1 scheduled to launch on December 23rd is positioned to transport initial physical Dogecoin token to the lunar service. The ambitious endeavor is a collaborative uh, initiative involving contributors from distinguished entity, including NASA, guys. So the NITA's approval is a significant juncture for Dogecoin Mission to the Moon, facilitating seamless communications during the lunar expedition. The acquisition of the FCC license is once finalized, will further validate the, the project's leg legitimacy, guys. So this is pretty good, guys. So this is happening. It's actually happening. And you can actually go to the uh, NTIA website. Blah, say that backwards. And uh, basically, you can go there and um, check on their website, and you can see the approval there. You can actually see the approval. So that is pretty good, guys. That is pretty good. Uh, fantastic. It's transforming the world, cryptocurrency of the world. Absolutely happening. Do you believe in the Dogecoin? I do, guys. Absolutely. I do. Let's take a look at what's going on with Doge. Doge is still following my uh, support line. I uh, haven't changed this, haven't adjusted this since uh, I left Vietnam for Tokyo. 
And it looks like we're still respecting that. And right now, Doge is at 0.809. So eight cents is holding as nice support, guys. If we zoom in on that, we're still seeing it looking pretty good. Uh, and we're going to be going up and up. Um, and good positive news about this, uh, the uh, FCC license approval. So looking pretty good. Sentiment, on the other hand, for Dogecoin is... It's up, guys. It's up on the daily. Uh, a lot of that is because of this uh, approval. So good news out there. Overall, we're seeing that uh, Dogecoin, it's it's above $0.08. Cents. Looking pretty good. Market cap is uh, down slightly uh, at $11.45 billion. And the volumes are light as well. So let's see what's happening. Let's see what's happening. Dogecoin will trade at this price if Dogecoin hits its all-time high market cap, guys. So if we hit the all-time market cap, we could, uh, we could see that uh, that would be 98.437 billion and that would take a dogecoin to 73 cents out there so let's see if it happens guys i still think we have this huge descending triangle here and we did break out and we will continue to break out so doge is looking pretty good guys uh don't sleep on the doge guys absolutely don't sleep on the doge dogecoin funded space x mission to the moon to launch in january so december 23rd uh to first week in january should be the should be the dates guys because we have this approval coming in so that's looking awesome 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 guys don't sleep on crypto uh if you got your crypto on centralized exchange get it out there guys be safe uh move it to a hardware wallet guys don't forget to smash the likes and don't forget to say dogecoin one 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 you want it i want it it's a great time to be alive guys uh in terms of uh in terms of tokenomics uh for the dogecoin according to into the block dogecoin one one 57 percent of the users are in the money and we're bullish guys looking pretty bullish out there so that is good news that is absolutely good news out there. Uh, Bitcoin is looking pretty good. Did fall down below my uh, support line, but we're going to giddy on up there at the 37,600. And remember, there's there's going to be a big short squeeze coming for Bitcoin soon, and that's going to send things up, up, up like crazy, guys. Uh, Dogecoin uh, is looking good. Ethereum is still uh, supporting uh, my secondary uh, trend line. That's going to take us up to 3,000. It's just a matter of time. TD, TD, time, time. Big, big resistance is around 2,400, guys. So not too shabby, not too shabby out there. Lots of stuff happening uh, right now. Uh, you know, if you guys need more crypto news, just go to, just go to, uh, go to, go to Twitter. Uh, you know, Bitcoin 39,300 first, then $43,000, guys. So these are, these are the levels we need to watch out there. Definitely going to happen. It's just a matter of time, TD, TD, time, time. Guys, do go follow me on my Twitter. I would appreciate it. Uh, get the, all the updates out there. Whatever's happening. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see if we can get this up to 10,000 uh, followers. I appreciate it. Show some love out there. And uh, guys, get the merch, get the merch. And definitely, you know, share this video. That's all I got. Peace out.